The young werewolf was about to steal the chicken, but then the searchlight came on. The older brother tries to stop Dover, but they still get a picture taken of them. The next day, the police took that picture and started an investigation. Although they didn't catch Dover, Dover was still scared. He began to wonder about his origins. Seeing how desperate he was, his mother told Dover about his adopted son's identity. Though his adoptive mother told Dover that they would always love him no matter what kind of child he was. But Dover still worries that his werewolf status will terrify his adoptive parents as he broods in the park. The mystic appears once more. This time the mystic is not in disguise, but reveals his werewolf identity to Dover. He doesn't say much, just tells Dover to make good use of his powers. On the night of Christmas Eve, the school held a party, but once again, Dover shifted uncontrollably. He had no choice but to flee back home. He didn't want to be like this anymore, so he packed his things and got ready to leave the place. But as soon as he stepped out of the house, he encountered the mysterious man once again. The other man stopped his way and told Dover the truth about Dover. In fact, he was Dover's grandfather. But because Dover's parents were not werewolves and Grandpa couldn't change back to human, Grandpa had to leave Dover in front of Mr. and Mrs. Ferris' house. But just then, Dover once again smells the neighbor's chicks. He runs over there uncontrollably, but this time, the police were well prepared. Dover had just approached the chicken coop when a cage fell from the sky. Since the cage was made of silver, there was nothing Grandpa could do. In the moment of crisis, it was his brother Tom who rushed back to save Dover. The parents also came back at this time, and they knew the truth. But they didn't care, they just cared if their son was hurt. In the end, the family and Grandpa got together and happily enjoyed Christmas dinner.